Hello friends and followers, we are back with another video in the Mystic uh, Springs Recreation Area. Uh, this is actually called the Mystic Springs Airstream Park. It's actually a private entity from the park, uh, from the recreation area, should I say. So we're going to go on a, a, a walking tour. I've never been inside here. I was granted special permission and I'm just going to show you what I can show you and uh, hopefully you'll appreciate uh, what this is. It is strictly for airstreams, as you could you probably uh, understand in the title. Uh, it's I love already how how the trees are just making a natural wildlife canopy for shade, which is really good for filming. You know, when you your phone gets hot, sometimes it shuts down. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing. So. Uh, I talked to a lady at the office. Uh, she's one of the camp hosts. She was really nice, very nice. We may run into her husband outside, I'm not sure. Uh, but I also spoke with uh, Mr. Tony, who's the president of uh, this this park. And he was, you know, he was a uh, really cool guy, really nice guy. I really appreciated his time. I. They try and keep it uh, very, it's a private only members club. And obviously I do not have an Airstream. I just have a little Ford 150 van, you know, white. So it wouldn't blend in too well here. But I, I feel it's important to share with the outdoor community. If you have an Airstream or you're thinking about getting an Airstream, this is a really cool option. And they host a lot of events here. I found out just now as prior to recording that they um, they have weekly uh, outings out here if you're part of the, the, the that Airstream community and stuff like that. So um, you, you're hearing a generator in the background. I uh, apologize for that noise. It is what it is when you're with campers. They're doing their thing. Ah. So, okay. Oh, this is starting to look pretty cool. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Mystic Springs. Airstream Park. That's, oh, that must be the clubhouse she was talking about. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, there are some Airstreams here. I had the impression there wasn't any Airstreams here today, but maybe people just, perhaps they leave them. And come back or something. I don't know how this works, but let's uh let's look around. I like the silhouettes of the cowboys. Always love the American flag. Let's take a look over here. This looks like a really fun place. Really fun place. Alright, I just I just looked over my right shoulder. That's that's the park host. Was the lady I was talking to? I've not talked to the husband or seen the husband, but uh, all right, I'm trying to remember what this is called. Yeah, people do bocce ball. I've never seen like a concrete thing. On the, but tell me what this is, folks. Tell me what this is. I really forget what, what outdoor game this is, but oh, there's a horseshoe pit. That's really cool. I forget the measurements. It's about 40 feet from peg to peg, and they have to lean inward and stuff like that. I actually researched that at one time. Uh, pretty cool place. I like it already. Uh, opposite kid friendly. Let's see what this is over here. All right. Subtle score. So it's a subtle board, I'm assuming. I don't know. Oh, it's probably what they do, kind of like in the Olympics or something, but on a concrete pad. Pretty cool. How are you, sir? I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And it's right on the Escambia River. Maybe we can get a view of that somewhere up here. When I was talking to the lady who's the camp host, there's a, like a two-mile hiking trail somewhere behind this uh, area right here. So this to me looks like 
some type of, yeah, it's like a fire pit of some sort. You, I really like it. That's really cool. So that's a clubhouse. They hold their meetings there. That's their... So is it okay to uh, film the board, whatever the board says? Thank you. We're going to see what the sign says here for the host. Okay, it says uh, fill out park envelope, add payment for nights, and place in white drop box, pick up your site, turn in, you know, da 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 da. It's basically all the fees, the phone numbers, and stuff like that. So, uh, really nice. They have a nice setup here. You know, there's all different types of camp host jobs out there available. You know, whether they're state parks, forestry parks. A lot of stuff. So let's see what's going on here. Look, look around. So I think there's like 30 sites or approximately 30 sites available. That's probably like a community little cabin area. A lot of wood around here, so that's good. And they were saying that, it, you know, it's a little slow this time of year because, you know, temperatures have been ridiculously crazy. High heat doesn't make for good camping. It does make for better camping if you do have a, like an Airstream. Let's go look at this. Wow, this looks like a, there's a cross here and some tables. This thing is a quiet area. It could be like a meditation or prayer area. Let's take a look over here. And that's really cool because it overlooks the Scambia River. I need to remember to keep looking down to make sure I don't encounter a snake or something. But let me show you this right here. It's really cool that they have the cross. People would really appreciate that. The mosaic uh, outdoor seating area. The Scambia River. This is it, folks. Let's keep going. I like what I'm seeing. I have seriously no idea the configuration of how this is laid out. Uh, there's some extra lumber they have there for probably for projects around the, the campground. But yeah, apparently this is part of an international club. 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 <laughs> I can't talk sometimes. Club. International uh, Airstream Club. Very exclusive uh, club. And there's some Airstreams. It's really cool because I didn't think I was going to see any based on what I thought I heard. But that's what it is. Really nice. Mr. Tony was uh, really nice to me on the phone. Uh, the more we talked, uh, the, I think the more we felt comfortable with each other. Just be trying to uh, introduce people to the outdoors. It, you know, it's, it, there is no exceptions. You have to have an Airstream to get in here. So if that's one of your questions, that was one of my questions, that, that you have to have an Airstream, you have to be part of the club, and have to be a member. Uh, so it's really cool. He did say that there is a big uh, outing or convention coming up soon. I think he said it was September. I don't remember the date, so don't hold me to that. But uh, so I guess it's like this area is going to be... Not only this area, but this whole region is going to be pretty well filled with a lot of Airstreamers sharing uh, their knowledge, their interests, their passion, their vision going forward. I just like it. It's just, it's just so natural, you know. It's so cool. They do have... Uh... Actually, let me go into one of these sites here. I'm not real good when it comes to electrical, the amperage, and all that stuff. This is, uh, let's call this E8. There's water here. 
So what that is, it's probably identifying that lot there. Uh, let's see, there's water here. So that's that's the electrical, if you can see it. So that's that. We're gonna cut through this lot and see what this is. D D11. So here we are. Learning. So there's, a, there's quite a few lots out here. It's definitely more than I initially thought. I thought it was only going to be a handful, but there's a lot. So let's go down this center lane. I think there's, I think that, that road right there, if you can see my finger, I think that leads to the exit because there's a, like, it's all one way in and out. Uh, so we're headed back towards the clubhouse. I thank Mr. Tony so much for allowing me to do this. It's it's really cool because there's so many different ways people can enjoy, to enjoy the outdoors. It's uh, we all have different passions, you know. There's different ways you can do it. You can do it in an airstream. You can do it in a van. You can do it in a tent. You can do it in an RV, a fifth wheel, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's all about enjoying discovering our country, enjoying our freedoms, you know, and these people seem like really nice people, so that's, that's number one for me, uh, I don't care how beautiful your, your park is, if your people running it are not nice or kind or they're, they're rude, I, you know, I, I personally don't go there, but all experiences I've had today with these people from this location, top-notch people, seems like a top-notch place to just chill out you know just enjoy your passion there's an airstream all different years you know it's weird. I, I personally don't know much about the airstreams I would say this one's probably a little more modern a little more streamlined no pun intended a little smaller but there's a there's a lot out here the campos have a Really nice setup here. I like their 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 setup. But so we're gonna say hi to this gentleman. Is it okay if we say hi to you and yeah, of course. you introduce us to your dogs? I love dogs. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm Tyler. Nice to meet you. I I hold him with my right hand, so I have to shake with my left hand. Hi, Tyler. How's everybody doing here? Everything's great, man. Yeah. This is Saya, and that's Mark. Saya and Mark. All right. I love the I love the park. It seems like a really nice area. And oh, it's great. It's peaceful out here. Yeah, it really is. And I, I'm so grateful that Mr. Tony gave me the time to come out here. Yeah, of course. And uh, it's cool. I just like discovering new things, you know. And it, it seems like you guys have a really nice setup. I like I like. Yeah, what you, this is the host spot. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but I RV full time. If I'm not here, I'm mostly boondocking around the area. And oh, okay. Camping. That's what I do. That's, uh, that's what I do. I've been doing that for almost a year now in this area. I've been only in this area for like 10 months, and okay. that's what I do. I just kind of wander around. I'm, I'm a working person, but I still just trying to – I'm just about to collect Social Security, so mm -hmm. my life's going to get a little different here hopefully in the next 30 days. Yeah. But, yeah, I love, I love what you have here. I love what you have, and I thank you. Please thank your wife and yeah, every, everybody. See you guys. Thanks. Appreciate you. No problem. Have a good day. All right. There you go, folks. Sorry about that. The, uh, what's this? The hitching post. What the, oh, that's for the dogs. Okay, you tie your dog there. That's pretty cool. All right, folks. So that's what we have right here. This is the Mystic Springs Airstream Park in Walnut Hill, Florida. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on the next adventure. Remember, nature can soothe your soul and Airstream can help it out.